Two weeks in, and I was not expecting an anomaly to happen. The 5A is no longer recommended by me. I recommend that everyone buys a 6. And the reason is the answer to the question that drives all of us. And it wasn't what, but how. He is the one. Yes, I said it, the $600 Pixel 6 is the one. And it's not because of the hardware specs, it's because of the sum of the hardware and software. Now, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna go into depth of why I believe it's the one. And we're gonna start with a demo of assistant voice typing. Is everything in place? You weren't supposed to relieve me. I know, but I felt like taking a shift. You like him, don't you? You like watching him. Don't be ridiculous. We're gonna kill him. You understand that? Morpheus believes he is the one. Do you? It doesn't matter what I believe. You don't, do you? Did you hear that? Hear what? Are you sure this line is clean? Yeah, of course I'm sure. I better go. Welcome back to the real world. Now let's continue with the other features that make this a standout. All right, so we just went over assistant voice typing, but another game changer is direct my call. Welcome to Spectrum, now offering Spectrum Mobile. This call may be recorded for quality and security purposes. Para español, más que cinco. Please tell me the phone number associated with your account, or your account number, or say, I don't have an account. Main menu. Let's narrow it down a different way. You can say, technical support, or press 1, billing, or press 2, or to add, change, or disconnect the service, say, service changes. You can either touch on the screen, you can still use the dial pad. Any of your services. Say. Another game changer is wait times. Wait times calculates how much time at different days and hours of the week that you'll be waiting for customer service to pick up instead of, you know, blindly calling a 800 number. And I've done this with Microsoft in the past where I've seen, oh, they have availability. I'll call them at one instead of calling them right now or vice versa. Absolute game changer and a, a time savings completely. Now, another thing is you, you probably have seen videos of that have a pixel in their hand and they're actually showing that they're on hold with someone, they really shouldn't be doing that because the phone will page you when it's ready or when the representative comes back. So no reason to hold anymore. Another game changer is automatic call screen. So we know about call screen, but you can actually set up auto declines and what will happen is the phone will alert you. And this actually happened when I was fil uh, filming this video. I had a call warranty show up as a private number and my assistant actually wrote it there. Another thing is assistant reading. This is unbelievable. So there's a lot of times where I'll be prepping for a stream and there might be an article that I can't get to and I can just simply say, all right, well, I'll listen to it on the car and you just hit the power button, initiate read, and this is the result. Some gadget guy, some gadget guy. One plus Buds Pro Review. One plus has a solid track record on audio and I've had consistently good experiences with One Plus earbuds. The Buds Pro arrive in a crazy competitive market for Bluetooth audio. So now let's get into some of the functions that are game changer in the camera. This is an example of a picture taken by the Pixel 2 at Hell's Kitchen in Vegas. It's a fantastic uh, picture. Now we have 
this statue where I actually use Magic Eraser, another game changer. And this is the video with the pixel. So notice the abrupt stabilization. That was one of the things, all of a sudden the stabilization, I mean, it was bad, it needed a gimbal, but there would be abrupt things that would happen in the stabilization on the older pixel devices. So this was just me showing my wife that I got moved to another room and it was a completely different room. So I was just kind of like, I had to point this out that the Pixel, although had decent video, stabilization has been bad in the past. This is a, a shot of the Pixel 3a XL at the Bellagio. It does a pretty good job, but just know that the camera app, the way it's set up, is it always, even on current pixels, it always focuses on exposure. So you'll see more grain in the sky than you will an iPhone. An iPhone will crush blacks to make it appear to be uh, less noisy. So it becomes a personal preference at that moment. This is me in the gondola. And if you can look at the people walking in the background, they don't seem quite as natural. Um, although the gondola looks pretty smooth, but you can kind of notice little things, even though this is, you know, if you frame by frame it, it's got really good pictures, but it just never quite got as smooth. Um, and this is all 1080p. Here's the Pixel 6 out of the box, 1080p, and this is handheld, and I have no issues with stabilization. Dare I say, it's actually better than iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max series this year. And this is normal stabilization. And fun fact, you will see some videos online where creators like, oh, I, you know, I might have stabilization on. No, you turned it off. This is an example of the Game Changer cinematic pan. I'm gonna show you that this footage is going to look like I used a slider. And here's a further example of cinematic pan. And this footage is courtesy of Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So this is his Pixel 6 out in the field doing cinematic pan video. It's outstanding for B-roll. My Pixel, it, it would have been my 13 Pro Max, but with the Pixel 6 being $600, it has absolutely taken over as my B-roll cam for, for my channel. Uh, and I only pull out the big guns when I need to. I had to give it up to one of the creators that has taken YouTube by storm, and that's Ike's Tech Talk. Love the guy, he's, he's an outstanding creator, and he works extremely hard. And what I love about him is he takes all of his biases out and just puts the review out there. So this is him, a video that I think everybody should watch, and he just is going through the paces of putting the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Pixel 6 Pro. And he, you know, he does a blind test, takes the same shot, and it's like, you make the decision. I will say that I've been happy, extremely happy so far with uh, the GN1 sensor, and I'm so glad that they upgraded. And the good thing with computational photography, what we see right now is only gonna improve. So with that, we're out.